What's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Tasty Tuesday on Tasty Loot Gaming. In case you don't know, Tasty Tuesday show where we talk about gaming news of the prior week. My name's Seth. I'm Chevy. And this week's a little slow. We got four stories to talk about. But first, I want to say that if you checked out our uh, first ever Tasty Cast last Friday, obviously there were some technical difficulties that we had. Hopefully you're still able to enjoy it. We enjoyed doing it. Yeah. We're going to be doing it bi-weekly. Uh, so we'll be switching off from Loot Chest to uh, Tasty Cast. Um, Expect those to be better quality uh, in the future. But on to the news. Um, the PS4.5 has now been confirmed by Sony and is, be call or is being called the PS4K. Uh, has an upgraded GPU and it is supposed to run things in 4K uh, and better processing power. Um, this is more so a continuation off of the news we already talked about right but uh but any thoughts on this actually being uh confirmed and uh are you interested in getting it um i'll be interested in getting it once i have a 4k television hmm. um, i brought that up last time i i am loosely in the market for a 4k tv right now and so once at them at that point i will likely um if this is out by then be interested in getting one of those as well i am more so um i just want to comment i think the name is way better than uh, 4.5. Obviously, Definitely. that was not the name to begin with, but 4K works out really well. I think, I think it's clever. It's the yeah. PS4, 4K. It's the perfect time for them to be able to make a name like that. I think it's cool. It works. Yeah. Um, I'm in the same boat. I, I want to pick one up. I'm absolutely interested in getting one, but I need the TV to support it. I, I have a normal you know, 1080p TV, So, um, but it's really cool. Um, and it's interesting how... I mean, we don't really get... I mean, the only thing I can think of that's even similar to this is how the 3DS and the new 3DS XL yeah. came out with an upgrade to it. Like, we don't really see this too often. It's kind of interesting to see the same console come out only upgraded. <clears throat> yeah. Um, it, it's kind of reminiscent to when, especially Sony, comes out with the slim versions of their consoles, except for, in those cases, obviously, the hardware is not more powerful. It's just smaller. Mm-hmm. Um, and like we brought it before, I mean, as long as there isn't an issue to where, like, games only run on that console and not the other, um, this, you know, is more so just starting to phase out the old console, bringing in the new one type of thing. And, and, yeah. Um, uh, you know, like with the 3DS, I think the 3DS turned five. Mm. So the, it's been five years and then well probably four and a half when the new 3ds came out so it had some time and by the time this comes out the ps4 will be like at least three years old probably three four years old yeah. yeah so it's cool i'm excited for it yeah yeah let us know in the comments below are you guys interested in buying a ps4k uh and and why are you not interested let us know so we got two new playstation 2 classics on the playstation 4 uh bully and Manhunt. Manhunt. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for those of you unfamiliar with the way the PS2 classics work, 1080p upscaling achievements are added, and the share um, features are all in there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe they're $15, $15 each, $15 pop, which yeah. is along the lines of most of their um, their higher, cl uh, not class, but caliber titles are mm -hmm. in there are 15 uh, I think it's really interesting that... In the Tasty Cast, we we're talking about Rockstar quite a bit. Yeah. Make sure to check out that if you didn't already. Like I said, it's a little fucked up, but watch it. Uh, link above. Um, but we talked about Rockstar and, and the games that they made. They were kind of obscure, and they never right. continued them. Yeah, yeah. And now, all of a sudden, Bully and, and Manhunt are, are all set on the PS4. So, <laughs> right. apparently, we're talking about it for a reason. And then they have all their... Uh, I got to draw three, Vice City and uh, San Andreas are all on there as well. Yeah. Uh, did you ever play either of these games? I did not play Bully. Um, I was interested. It just never happened. Um, I played like less than an hour of Manhunt. That's just not my thing. I was not uh, too into Manhunt. I played. I played both of them. Um, Manhunt was just you know gore porn stuff like yeah. that. Back when like we talked about in the Tasty Cast, uh, back when they were trying to see how far they could push the limits in gaming. Where oh, yeah. nowadays I think Mortal Kombat has kind of taken that back. <laughs> Absolutely. Because the new Mortal Kombat's pretty fucking gnarly. Um, but Bully was really cool. I actually didn't play that when it first came out. I played it when they did the re remastered version for the 360, I believe. There was a, so, yeah. a newer version that came out that was cleaner looking. And I played it. It was actually really fun. Um, it, it almost reminds me of a point-and-click 
adventure game, but it's not because you you run around, you can punch people and shit. But there's a lot of like weird little missions you got to do to kind of progress this the narrative storyline. So, um, and for fifteen dollars, I think there's still a lot of value in that game. Manhunt, I don't know, I might have to revisit that because I haven't played it since it came out. Yeah, I was not impressed with it then, so I feel like I won't be impressed with it now. But Bully, I'm I'm, I'm interested in. Um. And like you said, the fifteen dollar price point, and we talked about this before. I think it's a fair price point. There are Definitely. people out there who think for a PlayStation Two re-release, as they think that it just plainly is, um, mm. that it's unfair of a price point. So I I don't get it personally. The, the integration of uh, of of the sharing, we've talked about this already, but the sharing, the achievements, and ten eighty p and the ten eighty p fifteen dollars, like fucking. If you can't afford that, I can appre- I, I can appreciate that, but. If you can and you want those games on your PS4 with all the features, that's fucking more than fair. I think so. So, we're on the same page. Um, and in more Rockstar news, our third story, uh, Rockstar says that Grand Theft Auto 6 is in pre- preliminary development and they're currently researching Tokyo. Was not expecting that news. Me neither. Yeah. Um, especially so soon. No right, Red Dead right. Redemption 2, but I guess they're already researching in Tokyo. So what do you think about... A Grand Theft Auto Six, and what do you think about a location based in Japan, Tokyo? For the latter, I, that's awesome. I'm a huge fan of most things that are based in Japan. Yeah, I mean, um, yeah, we both are. But uh, I'm I'm really actually a little not even just like kind of surprised, but really surprised because they've had a uh, a pretty standard track record of like coming out with it pretty sparsely and then like using that engine to create a bunch of like new experiences yep. off of it and this almost feels like they're probably gonna be using five's engine and just slapping the number six on it i, I well like i said they're researching right now the game came out five came out in 2013 so three years ago right yeah um so by the time this comes out we're i'm thinking like two more years at the at the least yeah i suppose that's a- so five years they said also that they're going to be taking their time on this, which in Rockstar fashion is normal. Right. They always take their time, uh, make quality products. Priority for them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and with Grand Theft Auto V selling as much as it did, I mean, I'm surprised we haven't heard of any other games from them yet. Yeah. But this is not, like, it is super surprising to hear it just like that. Yeah. But it's also, like, they made a shitload of money. Of course they're going to make. If anything's going to say, hey, make another Grand Theft Auto, it's the amount of fucking sales they got on that, on yeah. 5. People still play uh, the online on, on 5. I still would be... Um, I, I still hope they, they do consider doing a, a Red Dead before Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out, though. Something's going to come out before 6, I for really sure. hope so. I think we're going to see something E3, this E3. Uh, hold me to it. I think we're going to see something from Rockstar at E3, hopefully. Yeah, that's wishful thinking, but they they have to they have to because five's been out for like three years now. They have to have been working on something else. If they already have the engine made, they can just fuck and start building from the ground up off right. the engine. Um, but I'm excited for that, and and I really like the idea of moving Grand Theft Auto into another country. Um, we yeah. have New York, California. Um, it'd be really cool to see. Just a completely different culture, different... Uh, Yakuza. I mean, we're going to see Yakuza, yeah. swords, stuff like that. Um, I think it sounds dope. I really hope that they go with this. I know they're saying yeah. they're doing the research right now on the place, but I feel like that'd be a really good direction to go, especially for gaming culture. Most gamers like Japanese stuff. Yeah, It would just work. There's a lot of humor they could do there, too, because there's a lot of cultural things. Everybody here is like, haha. Fuck I mean, me. they could make a side quest where you're on a Japanese game show, for example. Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, there's just a lot of things they could do there, and I and the the amount of the prestige that Rockstar has created for itself on on just making fucking high quality games. Oh, yeah. I want to see uh, Tokyo recreated uh, through through their eyes. No, be up. I I mean, definitely awesome news. I'm just like I said, a little taken aback. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below. Are you guys excited for Grand Theft Auto Six? And uh, what do you think about Tokyo's location? Uh, it's awesome, right? Let us know. So for our last story, uh, the company Topware Interactive has announced that they are actually in the progress of making Two Worlds 3 uh, based off of the Two Worlds franchise, which has made a total of uh, sold a total of 10 million copies. Yeah, which is surprising because the games are kind of uh, kind of sleeper hits. Um, mm-hmm. I 
played both of them. I'm not a big fan of them. Josh, though, enjoys them a lot. I don't think I've ever played them. Yeah. Um, well, they're tra- they're, they attempted to kind of do a third-person, like, open-world Elder Scrolls-type game. They just okay. kind of fell flat. But, um, but, yeah, they're making a third one. Then to add on to that real quick, uh, they're also upgrading the engine to Two Worlds 2. So if you own that on Steam already or if you're buying it, they're going to be upgrading the engine. It's going to look better. Um, and then they're also uh, adding co-op. And uh, a couple other things like achievements. So, uh, you haven't played the Never. series at all. Mm-hmm. I've played it. I'm not a huge fan. Um, the first one I thought was complete garbage. The second one, I, I could appreciate that they. It's a better game altogether. That's I mean, good. it's what the first one should have been. So, the idea of them making a Two Worlds three is actually surprising to me because I didn't think the games did that well. But I looked it up. Ten million is successful for the series. Um, both games. Yeah. Um, but I think it's cool. I, I, I like that they're, we need new blood. We need sure. new franchises. Um, a new fantasy game is always welcome, in my opinion. Um, but the thing I find most intriguing about the news here is they're, them upgrading a game that's been out for a while already, graphically. It's, they're going to be using the new engine right. to upgrade the last game. And the adding of co-op. Um, if there's ever a reason for me to play Two Worlds 2 again, ever again, uh, it would be because of the co-op. Right. I mean, that's generally, uh, especially in, in this day and age of gaming, I mean, co-op is a, a huge selling feature. A lot of people kind of expect it anymore. Yeah. The the 1080p up-resing, I'm always, I always appreciate when someone come back and touch up their game. Mm-hmm. I mean, as an, an example, uh, Blizzard just went through and they did Diablo 2, I think. So that works with Windows 10. Oh, really? And they yeah, it's the first patch the game's had in who knows how long. Hmm. And it didn't change anything in the game, but it made it still playable for people with new PCs. They needed to do that, though, so that's that was good on them. So, and I think they're doing it with StarCraft right now. But I, I just, I mean, to keep it kind of short, going back and showing support for a game um, that has long been out and is perceived as is essentially dead. Um, the people who still do play and enjoy it, I mean, that's just great for them i think it's kind of genius too because it's kind of getting people back into playing that game so they can maybe get hyped for a third, third game yeah because no one's been hearing about these games for like since they came out so right. like they need to do something to kind of generate that buzz and that talk going on and i think that's a really good way to do it i mean i might actually end up it's got to be cheap by now i might end Probably. up picking it up just to see what they've improved and i'm sure josh would want to pick it up and try the co-op but probably um what do you think about them releasing a third game in general, especially off of a ten million dollar uh, success of two games, um, which isn't? I keep bringing that up, but like, that's not a lot, but it was enough to make them successful. Right. I mean, as long as they continue to improve and it ends up being you know an even better game, I might take interest in it, and you know they might be continuously become more successful. I mean, a great example, though, on a much uh, higher caliber game. The Witcher one, mm. difficult game to play. Not everyone got it, type of thing. Witcher two was much easier to play, but still was kind of clunky in yep. certain ways. A lot more user friendly though. Witcher three was game of the year, and they nailed it. Awards and awards and awards. So I mean, you can't just like give up on your franchise if it's if it's you like your in passion it. project. I mean, this could be their thing. They may love this world and really believe in it. And if they continue to pour that kind of passion in there and can and put the work into it to make a quality product that other people can realize their vision, that'd be great. No, that's that's a really good point because I've always appreciated the Witcher series, but it, but three is like a really fucking good game. Yeah. Two, I couldn't get into, but I appreciate it. Yeah. One, I tried to play it, I couldn't do it. But, uh, but yeah, it's, I mean, this could actually be the exact same thing because yeah. the second game was better than the first one. They improved on a lot of things. It just felt stiff and it felt like it, it didn't offer as much as a game like Elder Scrolls does. But right. they've been doing it longer. So sure. um, it's like anyone trying to compete with Rockstar and Grand Theft Auto when it comes to open world crime games. Yeah, the only person who could yeah. even really do it was fucking, um, oh, God, Saints Row, Saints Row. and uh, Volition. And um, they deviated from it and made a superhero game eventually so which was super su- successful for them i fucking hate it but you know to each their own yeah that game went way off this way oh it's <laughs> it's a completely different game now um but yeah overall i think it's cool i i can't wait to actually see some pictures and video of the game yeah no i i mean i wish him i wish him uh luck with that i mean 
you know, as long as, like I said before, they're making improvements consistently and they're not going bankrupt from it. That's awesome. So. Yep. Let us know in the comments below. Did you play any of the two worlds uh, games? Did you like them? Have you never heard of them? Are you excited for a third one? Let us know. Um, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode of Tasty Tuesday. It feels a little short. I'm not sure, but uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to check us out on Tumblr, Twitter, Taste of Gaming. Check us out on Twitch, Sleep Division. I've been streaming again, so come and say hi. Um, check out our other videos. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode. And until what thursday take thursday yeah. thursday we're gonna be doing plus club because that's the end of the month uh and then friday loot chest make sure to come back for those videos and uh yeah until then uh thanks for watching my name's seth i'm chevy and uh we'll see you then take it easy